Good morning. How are we doing today? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Peter West, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Welcome to the 87th Commencement Exercises of Mercy College. Our program today includes distinguished student and guest speakers and the conferral of degrees on our graduates. For the enjoyment of all, we ask that the students and audience remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony. And now I ask that you all please rise. After you just sat, I know. And please join Stephen Burney from our music production and recording arts major in singing our national anthem. Stephen? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yeah well. <laughs> or the land of the free Thank you, Stephen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It is now my distinct honor to introduce the 12th president of Mercy College, Timothy L. Hall. Thank you, Provost West, and good morning to all of you. Welcome to this 87th commencement of Mercy College. It is so great to see so many of you in person. I've been told, in case you're wondering, that it's been about 35 years since Mercy College has held graduation ceremonies on this field, in this place. Uh, normally, we've been at the Westchester County Building, and. Uh, fill it up for about four times. In case you're wondering and thought how many graduates were coming in, there were a lot of graduates here, but this is only one of five other ceremonies that we've had this week. Yours and the one this afternoon will be t two of the next to the last, and then finally we'll have a commencement ceremony at Sing Sing Prison, where we've been teaching for many, many years. So it's great to see you. You've been busy during a worldwide pandemic. You've shown resilience and endurance and have continued on your pathway, even though things have been tough. We're all very proud of you, and I hope you're proud of the accomplishments that you've won today. 
Today is a very special day for our graduates and the family and friends who supported them. We'll recognize our students in due course, but we want to begin by recognizing some of the people who have contributed to the achievements of our graduates. So, can I begin by asking the parents of our graduates to stand and be recognized? Parents, wherever you are. Graduates, I think you have some enthusiastic parent fans. That's a good sign. We do recognize our parents for the financial sacrifices many of you made and the help that all of you certainly provided to our graduates to bring them here today and for the support and encouragement you've offered them. Now, would the spouses and children of our graduates please stand? Spouses and children. Congratulations, you also have supported our graduates and made sacrifices through term papers and through final exams and you may have endured a focus on study that sometime left, less time left for you. I can tell you that my wife and I married when we were in college together. I was a senior and she was a junior and so we studied around our kitchen table together. I know our spouses and children have been great supporters of our graduates and we're thankful that you have supported them to bring them here today. Would all the other friends and relatives of our graduates stand? I know there are some here. I know you're proud of the accomplishments of these graduates and that they appreciate and support your encouragement. Now, would I ask the, I'll ask that all of the Mercy College faculty please stand. Most of them are behind me. Would you stand, please? The individual achievements that we celebrate on behalf of our graduates rise directly, directly from the work of our faculty in classrooms and online and all the places where they've touched the hearts and the minds of our graduates through their term at Mercy College. You've risen to new challenges over the last two years to make sure that our graduates weren't stalled in their pursuit of this degree from Mercy College. I have some business-like people on our board who are sometimes, they, they chide me kindly about how slow they think higher education can sometimes move, but I was happy to be able to ask them two years ago or so when COVID first broke out, how many of them had put their whole business online in less than a week? Not many of them did that, but we did, your faculty did, and you kept going. That's quite an accomplishment, I promise you. Our faculty will be remembered by you, I believe, probably more than many of the things that they taught you. Here's one of the secrets of being a president is I get to meet graduates who've been out of Mercy College for 50 years. Every year, we hold a kind of celebration, a 50th year reunion for students who've been away for a long time. Here's what I can tell you. When they come back and they see our campuses and they see some of the things going on, they never, never ask anything about who was president when they were here. They ask lots about the faculty that they had when they here. You'll be remembering them more than 50 years into the future, I promise you. That's the influence that they've had on you. Finally, would the members of the college staff and administration stand? College staff and administration. The heart of the college is the classroom, but it takes other people and other help 
to create an environment that supports the classroom, that supports your work in libraries and labs and all sorts of other places. And it takes a lot of people. It takes, in fact, something more than a village to make sure that education and your learning and what the faculty do to contribute to that learning is placed at the very front of our priorities. We thank all of those other people who work together, especially over the last few years as we faced new challenges, have to make sure that classrooms were properly kept clean and healthy. So I thank all of those other administrators and staff members who've been a part of that. Now I'm happy to turn things back over to our provost. Thank you, President Hall. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Charlie Henley Glass to offer the undergraduate student address on behalf of the class of 2022. Morning, School of Social and Behavioral Sciences. I want to send a quick thank you to the members of Mercy's team that have helped me immensely throughout my three years here in a number of ways I could never fully list, no matter the time limit provided. <clears throat> On the staff, these wonderful people will be Samantha Karpiloff, Alan Rossetti, Valerie Monaco, and the entire residential life department, who I've had quite the year working for. And for my professors, that would be Diana Jutner and Donna Drum, who have worked tirelessly to cultivate a legal studies program we should all be proud of. Plus doctors Patrick Fazioli and Irina Allison, co-directors of the honors program, and countless others that have worked with me to get me to this place. Each of these people have offered me something, whether in the way of guidance and mentorship or through experiences that have changed my perspectives and broadened my skill set leaving me prepared for a rapidly developing world. As a whole, really, that's the easiest way to sum up my undergraduate experience at Mercy. Rapidly developing, that is. Arriving here in fall of 2019, I was coming straight out of high school, but I was by no means a traditional student. I was 16, ready to take on the world, and now, at 19, I'm ready to take on the next chapter of my life, which will be working in higher education a passion which I found through my time at Mercy. Before I got here though, I'd had my fair share of challenges. My mother passed away when I was nine and I'd ended up attending a dead end high school that offered me little in the way of opportunities. I was so eager to get out of there, I did everything within my power to graduate two years early and Mercy was the only college I applied to. I'd become so short-sighted and disillusioned with the future and my place in it. Of course, no one could have predicted the part that came next, COVID-19, and our lives being upended in ways you were all aware of because y'all were all there, I know. And through it all, my father passed away too, on the eighth anniversary to the day of my mother's death in March 2020, as I was sent home to begin remote studies. <laughs> it's not fun, I don't recommend that. <laughs> but here's the thing, I'm a Mercy student. We're all Mercy students. That's why we're here, not just at commencement, but at the other side. The other side of two years of unprecedented difficulties, all while trying to be single parents, adult learners, or working a full-time job while trying to juggle the full-time job of school just to try and better ourselves. And that's a mercy thing, I think. Resiliency through adversity. It's not exclusive to this school, uh, but I'd be damned if I didn't see it in the faces of all my peers here. Strength and triumph. Whether, whether it's the pandemic or the general lows of life, we do it and we do it well. So when I wrap this thing up in about 15 seconds and you all applaud, don't clap for me. Clap for yourselves. Because we're here and we made it. And may we never forget May we never forget those who didn't and those who helped us get here, whether they're sitting next to us today or watching over us from somewhere else. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Charlie, and congratulations. And I want to be clear that while you asked your fellow graduates to cheer for themselves, these applause from the stage are very much for you and your inspiring story and your inspiring words. Thank you. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Joanne Davis to offer the graduate student address on behalf of the class of 2022. It's working, right? Okay. Good morning, grad class of 2022, parents, faculty, fellow students, and all the rest, honestly. Um, my colleagues and professors that know me would always tell me I'm a team player, so I'm gonna try to make this quick so we get our degrees quicker. Um, <laughs> before I start any, before I start the actual speech, though, um, to my stepdad and stepbrother, Arif and Greg, I know life took y'all a bit too soon, and, I'm, and I hope that y'all watching them um, down privately on me. Now, ignoring all that, um, first I want to give a big thanks to Mercy College. My career at Mercy has been fun and interesting, you could say, um, learning and becoming a mental health counselor, learning the importance of learning the importance of empathy and self-care for my clients and myself. As shocked I am to be here to be talking here, I'm also very proud of myself knowing that. Can I move this up a little bit? As shocked as I am to be here, I'm also very proud of myself knowing that I've come this far and to speak to you all today. Also want to give a big thanks and happiness to be part of the I Help Fellowship where I was able to learn more about my skills of being a mental health counselor now and in the future. And while also being compensating in a way where I can focus on my studies, not have to work anything else besides this has been invaluable to me. It's crazy that two years ago, I was looking for a master's program to start my journey and dream of being a therapist. When I got that email from Mercy, it was a fantastic leap of faith. Second, I want to give a thanks to my professors and fellow grad students, the ones that know me. I know I couldn't learn from every professor in the program, but I'm sure we would have gotten along nicely, and I hope you would see the good in me, like the professors I did have. Professors like Dr. Guerrero, I'm gonna say you specifically, um, Professor McLean, Professor Simmons, and many others I enjoyed to make this program a wild stage in my life more enjoyable. Your guidance and teachings of past professors like Professor Sharif, G, Emmer, Warren helped me become the person I am now, and I understand there's so much more to me than I couldn't see in myself. All of you have prepared me to be a good communicator and a good therapist, which kind of makes sense as I was chosen to get these remarks. <laughs> Thanks to all the people who believed in me to where I am today, from my mother, my girlfriend of five years, and my good friend Joelle in the crowd, we're all here to witness it. Special shout outs to those who can't be here, from my best friend Nicola, to my boys in the ops and server, and all of the rest. Thank you, Chelsea, my first practicum supervisor, for introducing me to therapy and allowing me to shadow you, who will actually I model myself as a therapist and keeping me open-minded. I also want to give a big, big thanks to Natalie, my supervisor, who I will be working with right after graduating. My dream is to open my own private practice and to be working in a private practice with a fantastic supervisor feels like icing on the cake. I appreciate you starting my journey, and I can hold on, I gotta turn the page, my bad. Being a therapist, I can be for myself, Ali, and the clients I will interact with in the future. Another special shout out to my undergraduate boss, Kara. Working in the library at Damien was the best job I've ever hired. And for you to call me personally and say, you are not my child, but you're my proudest achievement from Damien, warms my heart to no end. But most importantly, above all of y'all, I want to give a big thanks to myself. Um, <laughs> For the excessive amount of adversity and stresses in my life came excessive resilience and determination, especially by learning more self-love and acceptance from my own therapy. Ironically, I walked into this program not wanting to get high grades because I didn't want to give a speech. <laughs> but the narrative changed with time and my development. I've always been deemed and called special. I just didn't know why. Um, now I have a better now I have become a better person while learning to accept my achievements. I've gotten straight A's for three years, I've run a marathon, and now I've got a master's degree in mental health counseling. And it's surreal to say the least. Y'all clapping a lot more than I thought, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm even more excited to know there's so much more to come for me and happy to know that I can help the world through therapy. To end it all, to the people who know me, and Joel especially, Jada can say we're gonna make it, right? 
And to be here, oh my Lord, it's my love. Standing knowing I have a career, a new look of life ahead of me, even if it's only the beginning, I'm glad he was right. Thank you, that's it. Thank you, Juwan, and congratulations. I'm glad that the grades thing worked out because that was a beautiful and inspiring speech. And I know I speak on behalf of the faculty when I say that we look forward to watching you achieve your dreams in the coming year. And now, President Hall will preside at the conferring of the honorary degree. President Hall, it is my distinct privilege to present Ian Kerner to receive an honorary degree. Thank you, Marlene. Ian Kerner, you are a licensed psychotherapist and nationally recognized counselor. You approach psychotherapy from an integrative perspective and aim to create an atmosphere of inquisitive reflection along with a sense of safety and commitment to the therapist-patient bond. You are regularly quoted as an expert in the media on topics related to relationships with recent features in The Atlantic, The New York Times, The, Economi the Ec Economist, and NPR, among others, and are a New York Times best-selling author. You are a clinical fellow of the American Association of Marriage and Family Therapist and sit on the board of the American Association of Sexuality Educators, Counselors, and Therapists. You have received postgraduate certification from the Psychotherapy Center for Gender and Sexuality and the Family and Couples Treatment Services of the Institute for Contemporary Psychotherapy, one of New York's oldest and most respected nonprofit psychoanalytic institutes. You've also completed a postgraduate program in trauma studies at the Institute for Contemporary Psychotherapy where you were trained to work with trauma survivors and are the co-founder and co-director of the sex therapy program at the Institute, where you educate the next generation of therapists. After receiving a bachelor's degree from Brandeis University, you went on to earn a PhD from the American Academy of Clinical Sexologists and a Master of Science in Marriage and Family Therapy from Mercy College. By virtue, of the authority vested in me by the state of New York and the Board of Trustees of Mercy College. I'm now proud to confer upon you, Ian Kerner, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, with all rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest Mercy College alumnus, Dr. Ian Kerner, to give the commencement address. Dr. Kerner. All right. Good morning, Mercy graduates. How does that feel? You earned it. You know, so in addition to being a grad of Mercy myself, I am probably best known as a couples and sex therapist. And in case you were interested, COVID has been very rough on people's sex lives. <laughs> kind of makes sense, right? We were living on top of each other. We weren't changing out of our pajamas. Some of us weren't even taking showers. But somehow, through it all, you got your degrees. Amazing. I mean, you probably weren't having sex, but at least you got your degrees. Hey, and summer's right around the corner, so we'll all catch up. You know, 
While I, was at the Mer while I was at Mercy in the Marriage and Family Program, I had the good fortune to study under Dr. Evan Imberblack. That's right. She's amazing, and she writes about the importance of rituals, that they paint indelible pictures in our minds and in our hearts, that rituals greet us at birth and follow us through our daily lives, childhood birthday parties, family, and religious holidays. And of course, let's not forget graduations. I mean, here we are, in person, outside. I mean, wow, it feels like old times, the return to a bedrock ritual, even if I do have to wear a gown again, which, to be honest, I wasn't completely looking forward to. But here it goes. But make no mistake, our world has changed radically in these last few years. In my own practice, I'm working more and more with families and couples who are polarized, divided, always ready to fight. Living rooms, dining rooms, and bedrooms have become battlegrounds. And so I, I try to make my office a safe space, one where people can let down their fences and be with each other. It's kind of like one of those old Western movies, you know, where a cowboys kind of walk into a saloon but first they have to leave their guns at the door. Coming into my office is hopefully a disarming ritual. And we need more rituals and more spaces where people can leave their guns at the door, literally and metaphorically. And honestly, that's where you're going to come in. The next generation of behavioral and social scientists you are the creators of those spaces. You are the proprietors of those spaces. You are the protectors of those spaces. I want to share a quick personal story. So after graduating myself from college quite a while back, I received a fellowship to travel and study English-speaking poet, English poets of the Caribbean. Right, So there I was out in the Caribbean working with all these poets. And at one point in the trip, I really wanted to make my way to the island of Vieques, which is off the coast of Puerto Rico, because I'd heard about a phosphorescent bay, one of only five in the world. And I'd heard it was amazing that as soon as you touch the water, it lights up. So I got there, and one evening, some other tourists and I took a boat out to the middle of the bay, and we all jumped in. And hitting the water, it was like swimming in stars. We literally glowed. And then after that, when we got back on the boat, I took a small bucket, I leaned over, and I dipped it into the water. I wanted to bring some of that phosphorescence back with me. But as soon as the water was in the bucket, it stopped glowing. And I learned that the bay is a delicate ecosystem and that what creates that glow is a rare form of living algae, but it can't be removed from its habitat. The algae and the bay are intertwined in a delicate symbiosis. Okay, now I'm not gonna compare you all to algae, but like that bay, our lives consist of complex ecosystems. Think about it, our family system, our friend system, our professional system. But when the individual parts of any one of those given systems are woven together organically and harmoniously, and we immerse ourselves in them, they have the potential to bring out our luminosity, to light us up. So over the years, I've pursued many different professions, writing, researching, teaching, even being a dot-com entrepreneur in the 90s, and all of them contributed to who I am today, but none of those jobs really made me glow. I had to go out and find my bay. And I've learned that being a therapist is more than just sitting with patients. It's also being an activist and an advocate for social justice. For example, just speaking about sex therapy, my little bay, my fellow colleagues and I, we rally for the dignity and rights of transgender, non-binary, and gender non-conforming individuals. Thank you. We rail against reparative therapy 
and the idea that being gay is a choice that can be reversed. We wage battle against shame and guilt and sex negativity. We teach about consent. We fight and lobby around the country for comprehensive sexuality education. We march and we stand for choice. So that's the bay that I swim in. And it took me a while to get there. The path was not by any means direct, but every day it lights me up. And so I say to all of you, as you launch into this really exciting next phase of your life, Find your phosphorescent bay. Be curious, be courageous, take risks, have discipline and grit, follow your passions, and most of all, make yourselves glow. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kerner, and congratulations again. And now, to pull a metaphor from Dr. Kerner's beautiful speech, graduates of the class of 2022, it is your time to glow. <laughs> President Hall will preside over the conferring of degrees. Before we move to this portion of the ceremony, just a couple of guidelines. First of all, it's going to be awesome. So take a moment to savor this. This is an incredibly special moment and we're all thrilled to be here with you. For the safety and comfort of all, we request that families and friends remain seated during the conferral of degrees. We also ask students after you've had the chance to walk across the stage and receive your degree to return to your seats until all students have been able to because after everybody has gone, the president will make it official. So we don't want to lose that moment for everybody. And finally, in the interest of time and safety, we also ask that students refrain from taking selfies and photos while crossing the stage. <laughs> president Hall, I have the distinct pleasure and privilege to present those students who have been certified by the registrar and the faculty as having completed all the requirements as established by the State of New York for awarding the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Social Work, Master of Science, and Master of Public Administration. And at this time, I would like to ask Dr. Stuart Seidel, Dean of the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences, to call the candidates forward to receive their degrees. Dean Seidel. Thank you, Dr. West. It is my pleasure to invite the candidates for graduate degrees from the Department of Counseling, which includes mental health counseling and school counseling, Department of Psychology and Social Work, which includes marriage and family, um, therapy, psychology, and school psychology. And the Department of Social Sciences, which includes health services management. To rise and approach the stage to be recognized. Congratulations, graduates. Jawan Davis, with distinction. Jada Michelle Ward. Kira Tracy Stirrup. Alana Madigan. Alana. 
Daniel P. Conning with distinction. Wendy Eileen Mendoza with distinction. Solange Frias. Rita Eliana German with distinction. Janelle Alexa Escobar with distinction. Victoria Hustomsky with distinction. Bevan Talty with distinction. Jacqueline Conlan with distinction. Morgan Marie Cole with distinction. Jody Joseph Shaw. Maria Casares. Jessica N. Stuber, summa cum laude. Kenza Elamrani, cum laude. Wilvon Hoyt, with distinction. Virginia Scarlett Gonzalez. Amanda Stephanie Cantav. Aisatu Diva. Nicole Holder with distinction. Ephrema Barima with distinction. Drema Bautista with distinction. Jatasia Williams with distinction. Shiana Supreme with distinction. Penelope Sampa. Ashley Garcia. Aracelis Emily Gomez. Janisa Altagracia Francisco. Elise Anna Karasik, with distinction. Megan Rose Collins, with distinction. Safe Young Sabor. Jacqueline June Odell.
Letitia D. Weeks. Kristen Nevins, with distinction. Caitlin Davis, with distinction. Javier Muniv, cum laude. Monica L. Martinez, with distinction. Darlene Vanessa Chitterboga. Jessica Gillo. <laughs> Teresa Janiel Endeavor. Annibel A. Shea. Paulina Villanueva, with distinction. Kelsey Amanda Wager, with distinction. Samantha Jo Clewell. Caitlin Elizabeth Damon, with distinction. Anna Tavernier, with distinction. Deanna Carey, with distinction. Jesus Villanueva. Camito Deans. Andrea Maurice Bowen, with distinction. Alana J. Pennant, with distinction. Tedra Waller, with distinction. Kojo Chinsu Gordon, with distinction. Ashley Martinez. Lasharn D. Harris, with distinction. Amarachi Onwukwe, with distinction. Paula Rodriguez Brown. Florence Solama. Shannon Stitchell. Pamela Stephanie Cortorial. Antonio Vincent Cintron, with distinction. Cadidiatu Diallo, with distinction.
Tiona Ann Hopkins, with distinction. Naisha Pernia. Stephanie Guzman, with distinction. Annie Julissa Pichardo Rodriguez, with distinction. Aksa Carter. Leslie Tony Oberhofer. Matthew Blanks. Chanel Solano. Kernisha Otway. Michael Snipe Jr. Joanne Clayton. Kelsey Jade Uberall with distinction. Linda Rijo Varghese. Kanza Rana with distinction. Kristen Maneri with distinction. Marie Grace Olivier Montwillo with distinction. Alyssa Rochelle Wurzberger with distinction. John W. Spa with distinction. Santiago Agudelo Velez with distinction. Ashley O. Lewis. Darren Jack. <laughs> Jordan Abato. Emily N. Gannon, with distinction. Alexander Maldonado. Nora Allen, with distinction. Crystal Perez, with distinction. <laughs> Kellen A. Tomei, with distinction. <laughs> Rose Angel Tejada, with distinction. Brianna Hamilton.
Latoya Walicia Coffer. Ryan Dudneth, with distinction. Diana Lee, with distinction. Melissa Morris Banta. Julia Ioka Zara Henry, with distinction. Lynette Marie Eason. Heidi Cruz, with distinction. Tanya Russell, with distinction. Shadia Resto. Kaisha Nicole Frazier, with distinction. Antonio R. McLaurin. Shanice Renee Felder. Kai S. Green. Angelica Cassandra Flores. <laughs> Selena Okendo, with distinction. Imani Ebony Wallace. Deidre Lizette Rosario. Gail J. Shapiro, with distinction. Anushua Arif. Linda Cipriano. Shaterna Levy Haim, with distinction. Taylor Nyberg. Laura Beth Lewis. Deandra Stewart. Wyoming Nunez. Melissa Abreu, with distinction. Maite Del Monte Nunez. Jenny Veras. Deandra E. Smith, with distinction.
Sean M. James with distinction. Juana G. Robert with distinction. Miriam Velsim with distinction. Tatiana Pinedo with distinction. Caitlin Marchena with distinction. Lystra Persad. Melanie Acevedo. Anika G. Wright with distinction. Karen Kasem Rosario with distinction. Natalia Koss with distinction. Gisela Marrero Agosto with distinction. Denise Isabel Shroud with distinction. Panayota Tsanguri with distinction. All right. It is my further pleasure to now invite the candidates for the undergraduate degrees from the Department of Psychology and Social Work. Which, and the Department of Social Sciences, which includes behavioral sciences, sociology, criminal justice, legal studies, and international relations and diplomacy. It is now your time to approach the stage and be recognized. Congratulations, graduates. Charlie Elizabeth Henley Grass, summa cum laude. <laughs> Fatima Rodriguez, cum laude. Shatoria McCoy Gregg. Shyla Monet Pedroso. Yamilka Cruz, cum laude. Delilah Lopez. Janelle A. Davis. Yeah. 
Amanda Siwa, summa cum laude. Naomi Persina Lewis. Malika Spradjian. Shadia Telfer. Lamar Batiste. Brittany McKenney, cum laude. Eric J. Palesha, cum laude. Lena Zenteno. I've Alicia A. Maldonado. <laughs> Janae Santiago. <laughs> Deborah G. Narain. Katie and S. Myrie. <laughs> Ashley Cox, cum laude. Shanique A. Bruce. Amaya Scott. Janae A. Lee. Amy Rutledge. Latika Walker. Brittiana Francis. Miriam Cisse. Madison Williams. Jessica Ward. Afia Hodia Blair. Gloria Jean Slater. Shonda M. Slater. Waterline Pierre. Taylor Mari Sepp. Rocio Bear. Janae Smith, cum laude.
John Anthony Arena. Patricia Dominique Serena Linzo, magna cum laude. Demonica Bess. Widlin Isabel Jean. Thais Collado. Jeanette Christine Santiago. Diana D. Fuller, cum laude. Najwa Vernique Allison, magna cum laude. Daisy Nahera. Jack Joseph Russo. Jocelyn Santiago. Delinia Escano, magna cum laude. Barantina Miranda. Philip Desdunes. Karina Harstadt, cum laude. Jennifer Elizabeth Andren. Roshana Jerlane Brown. Anna L. Valorio Reyes. Julisa Salcedo. Tiana M. Miller. Yasmina Mohammed. Charles Everett Strother. Lakaya Peters. Yesenia Diarza Quahutencos. Christina Adrienne Summers. And Camille Calvin, summa cum laude. Jose Andres Moctezuma, cum laude. Sherry Brown. Marie Riker, summa cum laude. Joel G. Nunez.
Valencia Moore. Joriana Rosan, cum laude. Shantae Andreen Smith. Sarah J. Laguerre, summa cum laude. Raymond L. Jones, Sr. Tanya Sheree Feimster, summa cum laude. Paidamoyo Domingo. Kiana L. Best. <laughs> Melissa Martinez. <laughs> Maria Jose Serrano Hurtado. Tyler Powell, cum laude. Corina Colon, summa cum laude. Angelica Maria Zinnen. Maria Fernanda Taveras. Mariah Taveras, summa cum laude. Maria Fernandez. Haley Edwards, cum laude. Anna Hainsworth, magna cum laude. Jennifer Juliet Hernandez Espinosa, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Fred, summa cum laude. Sinai Lopez, cum laude. Samantha A. De Jesus. Vulasu Nain Hamiliasun, magna cum laude. Jean Rudy Floranvo. Christopher Augustine Spedalier. Holda Maganga Nawali, magna cum laude. Danya El Jamal, cum laude. Davina A. Resto, summa cum laude. Simone Braithwaite. Nadia Akram, summa cum laude.
Steven Orantes, cum laude. Jennifer Nicole Zina. Priscilla Adoma. Gabora Yisrael. Kiana Lashawn McCollin. Keisha Danielle Butts. Ariana Valentina Robinson. Ramo Huremovic. Martin Lone. Sharice L. White. Joanna Tenalema. Christian Jesus Gonzalez. Richard C. Palazzolo. Norman Max Chesson Simon, summa cum laude. Evelyn Velez Curry. William Jack Jr. Alexandrea Diaz. Conchita Ayala. Victoria Elizabeth Rickard, cum laude. Hilary Durejo, summa cum laude. Idamas Reyes, summa cum laude. Matthew Tyler Lauger. Ada Lina Shabanai. Kiahani Lockett. Sulmarian Martinez Grulan. Karen Elizabeth Zapata, magna cum laude. Kimberly Nava. Carolyn Jeanette Snyder, cum laude. Kamisha Dyer. Kiara Bautista, cum laude.
Marissa Gilbert. Michael Madden, summa cum laude. Gabriella Borelli, cum laude. Lyric Renee Salmon, cum laude. Fabiola Antoine. Cum laude. Mariama B. Ba. Jurdian Ford. Tamia Richards. Giovanni N. Toruelas. Hey. Hamza Abdul Hakim Washington. Andrea Alejandra Gutierrez Alvarez, cum laude. Angelica Jorge. Evelyn Mabel Medina. Jennifer Soto, summa cum laude. Asia Stewart. Crystal L. Loveless Pack. Tanya Smith. Doretta R. Hodges. Felicia Chance, magna cum laude. Brianna Swinson. Louisa M. Cruel, magna cum laude. Jaylene B. Patterson. Cassandra Mattis, cum laude. Nacy Rodriguez, cum laude. Madeline David, magna cum laude. Ellis Joseph Harding, magna cum laude. Angelis Tavares, magna cum laude. Ali Ali, summa cum laude. <laughs> Pamela Ann Linder Hagler, cum laude. Gabriella L. Zambrano.
Esperanza Michelle Castellan, magna cum laude. Denise Jennifer Sanchez Rojas, cum laude. Sueda Memadaska. Kaylee Casson. Deborah Andrade, summa cum laude. Jack R. Gibbons. Kayla Reese, cum laude. Taylor Janae Bishop, magna cum laude. Hunter Savino, cum laude. Michaela Brady, cum laude. Alexandra Bigelin, magna cum laude. Jake Fitzgerald, magna cum laude. Imani Ayana Reagan. Christopher Robert Sokol, magna cum laude. Zahir Akeem Barnes, cum laude. Nathaniel Joseph Kramer, cum laude. Esmael Dukvare, summa cum laude. Nicole Boateng. Lisa Cheneyfield. Gerald Armstrong. Crystal T. Mingo. B. Arthur Smith. Avery Lee Moroni. Amber Elizabeth Babilski, summa cum laude. Azaria George. Georgiana Mari Oyola. Kathy Martins, summa cum laude. Celia Sturick, cum laude. Jairus Cooley. Kathy Manzioni. Imani Youssef, magna cum laude.
Jillian Virginia Simmons. Patrice Chanel Harding. Toya G. Tyler, magna cum laude. Yamari Elizabeth Del Monte. Augustine Oteng Murphy. Genesis Aguilera Jimenez, cum laude. Danielle Mamdeen. Jaylene Rivera, magna cum laude. Michelle Dolores Gillian. Samantha Lynn Pluvios. Angelique Davis, magna cum laude. Natalie Gonzalez. Crystal Vows. Jalis Z. Roman, magna cum laude. Marcella Abigail Oyervide, summa cum laude. Lucima Sibyl Lot Coakley. Cameron L. Presley, summa cum laude. Jamesia Bentick. Marvin Darko. Escarlis de la Cruz. Darius Andrew Roland Nash. Michael Fuentes. Miguel A. Castro Pena Jr. Muso Gay Niang. Sarabi Pearson. Maximo Fernandez. Aquinda Baltazar Brown. Jennifer Alicia Solito, 
Magna Cum Laude. Kawan Anthony Moore. Jocelyn Hernandez, summa cum laude. Giselle Herrera, magna cum laude. Julio Aristi Javier, cum laude. Michael J. Alfizi Jr. <laughs> Melissa Nicole Torres. Cum laude. Joanna Lucia Santana, cum laude. Yasmin Reham Othman, magna cum laude. Marjorie Jones. Tiffany Cardona, cum laude. Bruce Marys Laborte Perez. James Anthony Vinci. Aaron Rivera. Yoslin E. Reynoso. Alden Mayat, cum laude. Kervins Fertilis. Nevelis Rodriguez. Samantha Nicole Jenkins, magna cum laude. Marlene Mesquita. Vivian Otero. Kristen Masseri, summa cum laude. Latoya Indira Mundi, summa cum laude. Demora Ethlyn Reynolds. Skyler Hawkins. Chastity Morales. Erica A. Wilson, cum laude. Crystal Marie Centeno, magna cum laude. Katisha Perez, 
Summa Cum Laude. Juliana Conforti. Austin James DeRosa. Ryan Saltzman. James Matitat the second. Magna Cum Laude. Regine Valjin, magna cum laude. Raymond Smith. Sadia C. Xavier. Jalen K. Fabian. Karen Terry Long. Lenamar Laze Garcia. Najaf Abbas Syed, magna cum laude. Jonathan Freeburn, magna cum laude. Christian Valentin. Calliope and Bozakis, magna cum laude. Anthony Sasso. Florencio Alvarez Solis, magna cum laude. Wilfrida Federo. Stephen J. Bush, cum laude. Sylvia Ortega Flores, magna cum laude. Samantha Santiago, summa cum laude. Franaris M. Duran. Nelson Alcantara. Destiny Ariel Erica John. Cum laude. To Shell Tiani Wildman. Louis Marie Profil, magna cum laude. Tasha Monique Green. Christian C. Wheatley. Christina M. Elias Alvarez, magna cum laude. Carlos Nova Perez, summa cum laude.
Jamar Buckner. Kayla P. Williams. Christina Alexandra Scott, summa cum laude. Deliana E. Gomez. Uniqua Keisha Hartfield. Sangardia Laguerre. Alex Stanley Pierre. Casey de Oliveira, cum laude. David Stanley. Tyra D. Registry. Amanda Josephine Lucas, magna cum laude. Marina Kala. Talisa Damra. Alexa Deanara Mayor Quinn. Serenity Y. Marshall. Veronica C. Lema Naula Matute. Melanie Gomez, cum laude. Jared Berrigan, cum laude. Memunatu Mohammed. Mustafa Mohammed Alawadi, magna cum laude. Catherine Tobias Mendez. Ashley Nicole Sigelski, summa cum laude. Amanda Stagg. <laughs> Diana Maria Nunez. <laughs> Veronica Virginia Quahue Melendez. Alanda George Bamfield, cum laude. Kimberly Shanti Edwards.
Siobhan Lene Garcia, cum laude. Lindy Ray E. Donadell. Morgan Driscoll, summa cum laude. Amber Nicole Sanchez. Alexis Cruz. Natasha Crystal Denise Henry. Natalia Castano Victoria, summa cum laude. Anagar D. Reynoso. Arieta Mekuli. Caitlin Janice Hernandez, summa cum laude. Sashina Johnson, magna cum laude. Louis Beltry. Patricia Bayellen. Isaiah Stefan Minter. Stephanie A. Vargas Ferraro. Summa cum laude. Nadia Partida Flores. Cum laude. Jadira Sanchez. Nabila J. Eid. James Martin Cooper IV. Devante R. Barzi, cum laude. Regine Pritler. Danielle Morico, cum laude. Sarah R. Hopkins. Johanna Luna da Costa. Michael Suarez. Cum laude. Maria Carolina Alves Gaspar. Cum laude. Tahira C. Mushat. Cherie D. Quinn. Cum laude. Diana Vasquez, cum laude. Jeremy Steven Acosta Guananga.
Sarita M. Bratton. Adriana Salguero, cum laude. Juan Ortiz Garcia, cum laude. Taylon Holly. Mommy, you did it! Lysandra I. Espinoza, cum laude. Veronica Michelle Suber, magna cum laude. Dreama Correa, magna cum laude. Naomi Diaz Perez, cum laude. Gabriela M. Guerrero Martic, magna cum laude. Debra Isaias. Joshua Maurice Courtney Scrub. Allison Romero. Michael Cramsey. Yaritza Negron, magna cum laude. Juliana Ficucciello. Sabrina and Murata, magna cum laude. Adriana I. Santos. Sarah M. Besserell, summa cum laude. Laura Burns. <laughs> Catherine M. Valdez. <laughs> Nilsa Lazu. <laughs> Denisha Wilson. Cum laude. Sabrina Wright.
Rady A. Acosta. Maciel Velasquez. Sabrina Harris Prasad, magna cum laude. Roel Nicola Nurse, summa cum laude. Precious Holly. DeAndre Davis. <laughs> Lily O'Brien. <laughs> Emma Speranza, summa cum laude. Salma Elena Aga. <laughs> Jessica Letizia. <laughs> Madison Slate, cum laude. <laughs> Christina Vuxenai. Catherine Castillo. <laughs> Senya Cabrera, magna cum laude. <laughs> Frusian A. Smith. <laughs> Cassandra L. Serrano Flores. Julia Jules Roman, magna cum laude. Destiny Lynn Fugate, cum laude. Fabian Hernandez Garcia, magna cum laude. Jessica Palaya Zinin. <laughs> Leslie Perez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, members of the class of 2022, in just a moment, as I confer your degrees upon you, you will join over 70,000 Mercy College alumni who've gone before you. You're joining an accomplished group of alumni, educators, CEOs, Major League Baseball players, attorneys, healthcare providers, and community leaders. We're proud to add your names to this well-distinguished list. Now, would all the graduates please stand? We're not there yet quite yet. I have some official words, and these, these are them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New York and the Board of Trustees of Mercy College, I now formally confer upon each of you the appropriate degree who have successfully completed their course of study. It's now time to turn your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I present to you the graduating class of 2022. All right, now, just some final words. Graduates, you are now sons and daughters of Mercy College, a great institution of higher learning. Down whatever paths life may lead you, I hope it leads you back to this place. You'll always be welcome here. Now that you're alumni of Mercy College, I hope you will stay actively engaged in the affairs of our Alumni Association as the years pass, you'll be glad you stayed connected with your alma mater. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, President Hall. I ask just a couple of more things. The audience is asked to remain in place until the platform party recessional is complete. I promise it won't take too long. And one final note to echo something that President Hall said earlier, it has been our great delight to be able to hold these commencement ceremonies here in our, our native habitat in the language of our speaker today on the beautiful Dobbs Ferry campus. To make this work, we do have another ceremony later this afternoon and so we ask that you please meet your graduate as quickly as possible and depart campus to allow for the next group of graduates and their families to arrive for their ceremony. But most importantly, congratulations, members of the class of 2022, and best wishes for an enjoyable summer and a rewarding future. This concludes the 87th Mercy College commencement exercises. Congratulations again.